Hey guys, Blazing Wrath here, and today, um, unfortunately, I am sad to report on disappointing news that we recently got in the latest Halo Infinite development update that before they posted on the Halo YouTube channel. And while there is some good news, but I'm just gonna focus on the bad news because it's uh, it's, pr it's pretty pretty bad. But uh, unfortunately. There will be no campaign co-op and no forge day one. Um, that that that's not good. And I apologize in advance because this video is unscripted and I'm just talking, you know, just just as it is right now. But that's really bad considering that in the past 343 after Halo 4, it's just like, oh, we've learned our lesson. We'll do better with Halo 5 or MCC, whatever. Then after MCC, oh, we're sorry about MCC. We'll do better with Halo 5. <laughs> and now, Halo 5, oh, I'm sorry. We'll do better in the next game. And here we are. So, I, it's, it's disappointing. And I feel, I feel bad for the team over at 343 because I'm sure they didn't want to make this decision. They even said in their development blog that it was a tough decision, but um, I feel bad for the people who still use like, or like who still like uses like co-op campaign and split screen co-op or whatever. Wait, I'm actually a little unsure about that. Is it split screen co-op you got? Uh, so something about campaign co-op not being there. And Forge, Forge is a huge one. That's a whole sub-community that won't be there at launch. And uh, some other news is that, well, Campaign Co-op and Forge is coming post-launch. And they did say they wanted, they're, they're not, they don't want to release it until it's like fully ready. So I'm glad they're, I'm glad Joe Staten came out and he was, you know, he came out and just said, you know, hey, we won't have uh, Campaign Co-op and Forge at launch. We want to make sure they're ready and, you know, quality is really good. So I'm, I'm really, I appreciate the, the, the transparency from Joe, but man, it, it just sucks. I, I, like for me personally, I could probably live without campaign co-op and maybe I can live a little bit without Forge, but th this is, this is, these are important parts for Halo. Like you, I'm not sure if you, you can allow to even cut that stuff. I mean, I'm sure people have a lot of memories playing co-op campaign, like the first playthrough since Halo 1. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much a loner, but other people in the world probably have. So it probably matters more to them than it, than it does to me. It's like, I feel bad for the people who, who use those features. It's not really about me. It's more about the people who use them. And then Forge, I mean, we with with Halo Five. I mean, I've always wanted to uh, forge Infection, but I couldn't do that for like the first few months. And even then, the Infection game mode was missing in Halo Five for like six months. So I had like an Infection map pre-built, and it was just sitting there for six months. I was waiting for the Infection game mode to come out in Halo Five. Oh man, so no split, n n no co-op, no, uh, no co-op campaign. No, uh, Forge. I mean, what, what about... Those things are coming day one, but what about already on top of the list? No assassinations. Even though it's not a big deal, it's still regarded in the list. There's no playable leads and no dueling day one. It's like that... That that cut stuff is adding up, man. What, what else are they going to cut? I don't... We don't want to see or hear about things that you're cutting out. It regardless, of, regardless of it being a live service, and I think that's the thing. Another thing that I fear, how they were like speaking in the, in that development up there, just like, oh, don't worry about it. We'll, it'll be there post launch. Ah, oh, we may not have this day one, but well, we'll get it post launch. And no, so the campaign co-op and forge are, are stuff we sh that should be there day one. Th that's not that's not post launch stuff. Now, on the other hand, though, I can. There's only one way I could see them like or the reason why they would cut campaign co-op and and forge out of the game and it's because 
while campaign co-op and forge those are core like the halo community they, those are things that they that you know we care about but the general gaming audience today probably doesn't give a shit about that stuff like the game's gonna be fine even at launch so that's probably the reason why they decided to you know delay delay those features like j just because the general gaming audience is, probably doesn't won't use that but the halo community does so 343 three. i'm not sure if the community can handle another halo 5 where shit is missing at launch so i i i I'm, i don't think we can handle that again we we already did with halo 5 i mean when halo 5 launched it was barely anything now i was able to play the game personally because i i am i do like playing competitively so i did stick around for the content to come and also i am a halo fan but i'm sure a majority of players back back in halo 5 its first year not everyone stuck around so you i i would almost i'm at that tipping point where i would almost prefer you guys delay the game like I'd probably if I if I may if I may recommend I maybe I'd suggest delaying the game till summer 2022. That way you'll have three months extra time to get co-op campaign implemented, and then that would be a total of like like summer 2022. That's that's about six months. So a total of six months by then you'll have Forge, and then like maybe you'll get some extra stuff in there and. And even then, in between that wait time, we'll still have flights. So we could still be testing the game even throughout the, that waiting period. So, I, I don't know. Well, what do you guys think? Do you, do you guys want to, like, do, do you guys like my proposal? Like, summer 2022, if you want to delay it? Or do you guys want to just stick with this decision and, you know, that that's that. And we'll just have to deal with the... The delayed stuff. I mean, well, like I said, the the other stuff, like uh, no no assassinations, no dual wielding, no playable elites, no campaign co-op, and no forge day one. That that's five things uh, that won't be there at launch. Some of those are minor things, but the that that list is growing, man. Like I said, that list is growing. It makes me wonder what else what else are you guys gonna delay? I mean, for me personally, like uh, like I. I miss dual wielding, dude. I miss dual wielding, and playable elites is another thing. Like, I uh, are you guys gonna bring back invasion? And I'm gonna top that off with another question. Um, are you guys any plans for firefight? I know it was only in ODST and Reach, but you guys got any plans for firefight? I mean. At least we got wars on Firefight in Halo 5, but it just wasn't the, s the same exactly. So, yeah, uh, just curious for Firefight for the people who do play Firefight. It's not, again, it's not really about, it's not really for me. It's more about the people who use the features. You know, there could be some really hardcore Firefight fans out there. So, yeah. Anyways, like I said, do you, uh, do you guys prefer, you know, the decision is made it is what it is and we just get the game this later this year or would you guys prefer summer 2022 like i proposed and even and, and like i said even if it is summer 2022 hypothetically it's only six months so half a year and by then they'll have the those two features campaign co-op and forge at launch it'll be there if i if i had to even make an estimate maybe september would be a, a, a good release but Anyways, uh, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you if you agreed with what I with you know with uh, the summer 2022 delayed release thing, leave a like. And if not, post a comment and tell me why. Like, why not? Uh, unless, tr trust me, I don't I don't want to delay the game any longer. We've waited long enough. We've been waiting six years, but. Uh, this just sucks. <laughs> but, uh, damn. I, I, didn't, I didn't even plan on making this video. But, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.